Uh, where are you at? I've got uh, four blocks for you. Oh, I see you. I'm just uh, I'm harvesting the the farms right now while you're doing that. So I, I guess we should probably talk about like what we've been playing while we're up here, right? Like you you mentioned Assassin's Creed three earlier, uh, and I've been playing Revelations and whatnot. Those have been some fun games, yeah. Well, fun games to watch, I suppose. That's usually what happens when you guys are here, as I watch. And actually, uh, sometimes it's not fun because you guys will... I mean, you guys are powering through, like, two Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, like, I just beat Revelations, I think, probably, what, two days ago? And I'm already almost done with Assassin's Creed 3. Thing is, I wake up this morning, uh, and Ghana's already playing. And, you know... Like, the, we're in the same room right now where I'm sleeping, and, you know, I, I wake up to, you know, Charles Lee, one of the characters in it, and I immediately go, nope, and uh, roll back over and attempt to fall back asleep. You know, it's it's terrible. How did that work? Uh, surprisingly well, actually. Well, I have to tell you, actually, I came in. I'm just getting some food. I came in this morning and went to fire up my PC, and it's like the end, like one of the most pivotal moments, I think, in the entire thing, in the last couple of minutes of the game, and I turned around and went, oh my god, I can't believe I just saw that, and I literally ran out and made extra coffee, and then I came back in, covering my ears like you do, and then put music on really loud and refused to turn on and look at the TV. Exactly. It's difficult, especially since, I mean, Gonda skipped Revelations, I think, and just went straight to that one. So, like, you know, I'm trying to power my way through Revelations at the same time as he's playing Assassin's Creed 3. Right. And it's been horrible. You yeah, know? and you wanted to, um, you like, you wanted to get through Revelations first. The thing that I felt kind of bad about it, and I don't have it uh, on the Xbox, which is what you guys were, oh my god, there's a creeper in the uh, locomotive center. Engage the enemy. Um, anyway, I feel kind of bad because you didn't get to play uh, Brotherhood, um, so you kind of missed out a bit on the storyline. Yeah, I know. I'd actually been meaning to play that for the longest time. I, f I figured, you know, I, I can play Revelations, no problem. I heard that the big spoiler thing that I've been I've been hearing about is, is in this one, so I'll, I'll just I'll play this one. Should shouldn't miss anything through Brotherhood. First cutscene, huge spoilers. I'm like, God damn yeah, it! Yeah, you kind of missed that, didn't you? Yeah, and I've got, like, no context behind it. They're like, oh, so-and-so, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to do it. I, I can't spoil it for other people, despite the fact that it's, like, a game that's been out for quite a while. I'm not I'm not doing it. Our viewers appreciate that. They probably do. I'm See, I'm not as kind as you are. Like, I hate being on Facebook and getting spoilers. Like, it's no secret that I powered through three seasons of Game of Thrones, like, in four days. Like, I, that's all I did for four days, to catch up to the Red Wedding episode. I did the exact I was so... In fact, I, I did not sign into Facebook for three days because I was so sick of people mentioning it. So, uh, I hate spoilers. But I have to tell you, after a while, it kind of crosses that threshold where it's like, if you haven't seen it yet, that's your fault. So yeah. I'm kind of a dick I, like that. I don't know. I was on... Um... Oh, recent developments between the villas of Puto Le Coin and Devrampur have uh, improved. They're now decent. Anyways, you know, well, the thing is, is during the time of, of that whole episode of Game of Thrones, I still went on to Reddit for some stupid reason. And in every thread, even if it was unrelated, you'd still get that starting to be spoiled. They'd be like, Jon Snow. I'm like, no, close, the, close Google Chrome, shut off everything. Until so I finally broke down, was like, okay, I'm just gonna watch nothing but this, and I'm, I'm I might have a book open, but otherwise I'm reading that or I'm watching this for the next you know 48 hours, and it was horrible. I mean, I, I felt like I couldn't enjoy the show. It's like I gotta get through this so I can figure out what they're spoiling without actually having it spoiled. Right. Or I could read the book. So one of the other things that I did a little bit while I was offline or while, while the server was uh, not recording, was I kind of explored some of the millionaire stuff, which adds a, a quest component. And you guys didn't get a chance to see this, but this village here that I'm at, 
uh, this Normain village was actually it's it's gotten huge. Uh, in fact, there's you see there is a uh, a building being built over there. Uh, this over here is a brand new building. This fountain's brand new. Like they're building like crazy. And I like I I yeah. It's kind of cool to watch because they just keep they just keep building. This has even got a basement in this one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cover that in a later episode, right? Just because we, of how much goes into it. Yeah, we are definitely like I don't know that we're gonna be able to really uh, do well unless we get really good relations with the surrounding villages because uh, as you as you progress in your relations, you can actually like buy. Uh, more complex stuff that you can't create yourself, so uh, we're going to have to do that. If, for instance, if you noticed in that house, none of the chests said locked, and I'll uh, explain that when we get into it later. Teaser. Dun dun dun. Tease it. Dun dun dun. dun. Okay, so uh, does anybody have any ideas as far as how to get this, uh, to, how they get this timer working to where? I tell you, I'd like to have, uh, there's two modes for this. One is just quick mode, which just sends out a, a redstone signal when there's a meteor about to crash. Um, and then there's a, a power mode, which actually, uh, I believe, sends out a signal based on how close it's going to hit. And that part going to confuse me, so I was just going to keep it with, uh, with the quick mode for now until I learn more. But what I'd like to do is try to set up uh, two... Uh, two basically lamps or whatever, one on this wall, one on this wall that faces out to where we're facing, and then inside I'd like to do something so if we're inside here, uh, it'll go off as well, but uh, I'm not very versed in, in redstone uh, mechanics and stuff. I don't know how much you guys are. Like when I built that redstone elevator, it like it took me an entire day because I had no idea what I was doing. Well, to be fair, that's pretty normal, right? You're not knowing what you're doing? Man, listen to him. I thought he was going to say it's pretty it's pretty common to have things go off inside when you don't want them to, but uh if you look straight up, look at there's multiple par uh particles up there. That's actually that's kind of cool. Okay, so I don't know, you guys want to take a little bit of a break here? Uh I would like to say that uh, outside of this timer, which is going to be a little more complex, uh we do have a functioning meteor shield. Uh which is encompassing the uh which is encompassing the entire complex and then uh uh we can uh set another one up out here by the house which will protect the house and the uh, surrounding farms when they're built uh i do believe once I, I don't know how you guys feel about this uh but once we get our improved relations with the villages. Uh, I don't know how if we can, but we should probably start putting up meteor shields around their villages as well. Because I want to say one hit close to this one that's biased, didn't it? Yes. Uh, in fact, I'm I'm having to try to clear one uh, so they will continue building because uh, they will not break through the meteor rocks. Okay. Uh, so uh, the stuff that basically we're going to take care of in between episodes, uh, we're going to try not to go so crazy, but uh, is to get the rest of the meteor shield up, um, figure out this redstone uh, uh, signal. Uh, I'm going to clean up and uh, kind of rebuild uh, where these meteor impacts have been uh, to make the base a little better. The base eventually is going to turn into a warehouse, uh, which is going to be near our factory here. Uh, and I think, Pete, you're going to come up with a transport system where we can transport stuff back and forth, aren't you? I yeah I am actually on my screen right now is the uh, basic components for the BR80 engine, which is what I will be making initially. It's a steam-powered engine, and we're gonna start working on ways to quickly and easily transport goods uh, and people back and forth between our either both our mines and our villages uh, for fast transportation to and from a village. Right. Well, we've got our main uh, mine that's out there, and then <clears throat> here. Uh, pretty soon we're actually going to build a, a few quarries, right, uh, from uh, Buildcraft? We've actually got all the materials to make the quarries. Uh, I've got some diamond gears here. I've got the engines, uh, landmarks. Uh, all we're missing is just the episode to actually make them. 
Okay, well, uh, we'll do that. And then I think that was the main deal, right? Was that uh, we're going to build those quarries and then we're going to be able to automatically ship everything uh, to an underground, uh, basically, way station uh, underneath the factory. Was that the plan? Yeah, so basically what we're going to do is, while well, this, don't be confused, this is the, the train crafting area and the locomotive manufacturing center, the LMC, uh, there will actually be a train station located uh, either underground or above ground. Uh, we haven't just really decided yet. Uh, where the trains will, they'll, they'll be off track and side track where we can park and unload cars and automatically drop off cars. Tons of crazy cool stuff. There's detector tracks that when you roll over them will automatically detach your cars and you can continue on without having those cars. And then there's loader tracks. You automatically load the cars that are there. Uh, lots of cool stuff. There's switches you can throw while you're uh, going down the track to open up side tracks and I, just tons of cool stuff like that we'll get into. It'll be several episodes we'll be doing that stuff. I, uh, I can't, can't wait for that. Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, we're going to have quite a few episodes that focus on uh, the railcraft and the traincraft, and then the forestry stuff when that gets going is going to be hugely in-depth. I, I absolutely love how that is, and I can't wait for you to get the rail stuff up because uh, that sounds amazing. Uh, so... Uh, once I get this meteor system up, we're going to make sure we've got stuff together, and I think it's time to go through one of those portals afterwards, don't you think? I agree, 110%. I'm ready to go. All right. Well, guys, uh, you know what? Thanks for watching. Uh, send us a like. Send us a subscri subscribe. I guess I'm stealing Pete's uh, thunder there because he usually uh, says that. Yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, let me, let me go there. You're, you're taking my, uh, taking my, my one little thing I do that I'm sorry. is helpful. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for, for watching. Throw us a like, throw us a subscribe, throw us, uh, throw us your enemies, your friends, uh, your downtrodden. We're happy to uh, have them watch our videos. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please post your comments. Let us know if there's anything you'd like to see. Uh, we're happy to, even if it's not in Minecraft, you guys want to see uh, something different, uh, something that may be coming out uh, soon. Uh, not to be confused with EverQuest Landmark, <laughs> uh, which we're really excited about. Uh, real quick before we leave, I just wanted to point out, because I totally skipped by it, that um, that Actatus' tree farm is in full effect. And uh, I think you will be especially excited when we can get the multi-farm set up that will actually allow us to farm trees. So uh, uh, any last words, Actatus, before we get out of here? Uh, only, only a suggestion to people. Uh, if you would please uh, engage the Unimer. And there's a meteor strike. But besides nice. that, I'm good. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we will. Uh, we'll see you pretty soon. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.